Practice and discipline. You know, these things are, this is two concepts that should go hand in hand. And I'm making this video mostly as a reminder for myself to practice better. Practice discipline. So what does that mean? Well, you know, whenever we're first getting started, or this is for me personally, whenever I was first getting started, I had a lot of time to spend on the instrument, a lot of time to, you know, love on it, and a lot of time to do what I wanted to. But, you know, as I've gotten older, the more success that I've had in music, the more responsibility that I've taken in music, I've had less and less time to work on the things that I really love and more time that I really have to work on the things that I need, that I am struggling with, the things that I'm lacking in. So, uh, lately I've been reading Mastery by Robert Greene, and in that, you know, what I've taken away for the biggest the biggest thing that I've taken away from it is to attack your weaknesses. Attack the things that you're struggling with and that you're not the best at. And in that you're gonna get you're gonna get way more out of that than playing the same thing that you're good at over and over and over. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through and talk about some tools that I use to uh, use discipline practice. So one of the first things I like to use, one of the most important things, personally, that I feel to use is a metronome. So these come in sh different shapes and sizes. Here's one of the old schooly ones. But I, um, I really like using a metronome. And I like it because it is unbelievably honest. This will not lie to you. And this will help you immediately attack whatever you're struggling with. I really like this one. This is the uh, the Dr. Beat from Boss. You know, you can use your quarter notes. You can get eighth notes in there. Get sixteenth notes. Triplets. You know? And I really like, I like to practice with a metronome, and I'm not going to do it for a super long time. But I'll throw on eighth notes, and you can just try and play chords to it. You can hear a couple of times there, I wavered off of it, but that metronome is right there to keep you back on line, to get you back in line. And I also, I'll show you another thing I like to use. Uh, it's my phone. I'll set timers for whatever concepts I need to work on, and I'll have a set amount of time to practice those. And I just will continuously do them until my timer goes off. You treat it like an alarm clock, right? So whenever you set your alarm clock in the morning, you know, you're not, or at night, you're not concerned about doing anything else but sleeping, right? From the, from the time that you set the alarm clock and you're going to bed, and then this is going to tell you when to get up. So I set my alarm clock on my phone, and I use my phone the same way while I'm practicing to keep me honest, keep me practicing what I need to work on. You know, in the, in my experience, in all of the things that I've done, I catch myself whenever I'm playing guitar. Uh, I'll play a lot of the things, you know, that sound good on a Strat. I'm sitting down with my Strat. <laughs>
I still doing stuff like that a lot because it sounds good, it feels good, you know, like the. Stuff like that, stuff that I just really enjoy playing because it feels good, it sounds good. But that stuff, you should have a separate time where you can do that. You know, you can do that around more people more. Stuff, play stuff that sounds bad whenever you're by yourself. You know, it doesn't always have to be perfect. Let's see if I can. Using your metronome, sit alone, play your scales. Play stuff like that. Play stuff that's going to make you better in the long run. And it will serve you better for whenever you do play the stuff that you really enjoy. You're going to come back to the stuff that you that you want to be playing, that you love, and that you've. That the, you're going to come back to the stuff that made you pick up the instrument, and you're going to be better for it. If you just use a little bit of discipline in your practice.